Well, Atlanta graffiti artists with deep roots here in the city are celebrating 50 years of hip hop this weekend with a graffiti jam. The event's taking place along several sections of Atlanta's Beltline. Don Shipman is here in studio. Graffiti art has really changed the face of Atlanta, it, hasn't it? It really, really has. It's, it's really incredible to kind of like walk back through history in mm -hmm. graffiti in the city. It has the power to transform old rundown buildings, right, into something appealing once again, or big concrete surfaces like underpasses into works of art. What's so interesting is that people's perception of graffiti has shifted in the past 20, say 30 years. Graffiti is having its moment. I met up with a legend in Atlanta's style writing culture, Dr. Dax of the Dungeon Family, a musical collective based here in Atlanta that specializes in Southern hip hop. He's been creating in Atlanta since the 1990s. We met up under the 7585 overpass on the south side. It's a spot that graffiti artists like him have been drawn to for decades. This weekend, style writers from all over will converge on this area and others along Atlanta's Beltline. This has no surprise to me, you know, I've been watching this thing grow and slowly and surely get a little bit more respected and then maybe a teacher in school would be the first and then, you know, it's just grown from there. So for it to evolve to this point is no surprise and, um, you know, I think I'm just surprised it took this long for everybody to figure it out. So in many ways, style writing culture and hip hop go hand in hand, influencing each other. Dr. Dax told me that he would argue perhaps graffiti art influences hip hop more than it's given credit <laughs> oh. for. Walking tours and opportunities to see style writing up close. Uh, that begins tomorrow, it runs through the weekend, different mm -hmm. locations. I was over there on the south side that's just near, that's on the belt line near Pittsburgh Yards. Mm -hmm. And then on the west end, uh, Lee and White, those are the other, other location, you can check it all out. Oh, really cool. Now, Dr. Yeah. Dax might have started something by uh, that comment that he said. <laughs> we'll leave that there. But graffiti really does have the potential to bring colors to an area that maybe just don't have it. It was honestly one of the first things I noticed when I moved to Atlanta. Right. It was like mm -hmm. all of these buildings, maybe the building didn't look is that great, right? But yeah. The graffiti on it made it look better. Graffiti used to have such a negative connotation, yeah, and dude. now with this, totally, really different. Yeah. Don, thank you.